Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. As you were learning in Watch Laplace transformation and its application in uh, four part differential equation. So here is one more extra example. I hope you have watched my previous lecture. If not, so I'm going to revise this few things in this lecture also so that both example will be beneficial to you. In the previous lecture, I have uh, discussed that uh, Laplace transformation of d, sorry, Laplace transformation of d dash y equals to s times Laplace transformation of y minus y zero. Similarly, Laplace transformation of the double derivative y equals to s square laplace transformation of y minus s times y zero minus y double dash zero similarly laplace transformation of triple dash y equals to s q laplace transformation of y minus s square y zero minus s y dash zero minus y double dash zero so what is happening here here first order derivative means we have to bring s one s on the other side double order derivative means we have to bring s square and what happens further the power of s decreases here it is two so one and here it is zero and uh, derivative here y zero and uh, derivative of y comes into action so you can see here from the third formula it is more clear so, see here we have sq so s square sq s square s and here s to the power zero and ly derivative of here y zero and then derivative of y and again second order derivative of y so we will whenever we are using this formula we will be provided with some boundary condition these are our boundary condition which says that y zero y at t equals to 0 we have y equals to 1 similarly at t equals to 0 we have y dash equals to 1 so how we are going to apply these things in this numerical c here so what we will do we will take both sides so write solution and right here taking log on both side so we are taking log on both sides sorry log not laplace taking laplace transformation laplace transformation taking laplace transformation on both side on both sides so we will have here laplace transformation of y double dash means uh y double dash yeah we write it y double dash minus lap 3 laplace transformation of 3 y dash minus 2 times laplace transformation of y equals to 4 times laplace transformation of t minus laplace transformation of e, of e to the power 3t further what we will do again it is same thing like y dash is equal to d d double dash y so we are going to use this formula here so this will get transformed as s square times laplace transformation of y minus s times y 0 minus y double dash 0 we will get this this from this now uh, time for the second one that is minus 3 times y dash y dash is equal to d dash y so we will write it as uh, s times laplace transformation of y minus y0 okay so we have minus 2 and laplace transformation of y equals to 4 times laplace transformation of t and we know that laplace transformation of t is going to be 1 upon s square i have discussed about this formula and provided the formula in the previous lecture you have provided the link in the description as well as in the i section and uh, laplace transformation e to the power 3 t is s minus 3 so what you can do me a favor you can note those formula in, in a paper which will help you throughout the series of laplace transformation as well as in most laplace transformation so now what we will do we will take common like here we have laplace transformation of y here we have laplace transformation of y of y we have laplace transformation of y so taking laplace transformation of y common from these two x three expressions so we have sq minus 
3 years 3 will multiply this and this 2 will multiply this okay so 3 years minus 2 times laplace transformation of y and we have another that is s times y0 s times y0 y0 is 1 so s and y double dash 0 y double dash 0 we are not provided with that value sorry this is only dash okay here also here it is only dash we, here also derivative of y increases and uh, power of s decreases so this is what we get we are using this so we have only y here okay so minus and y dash 0 is 1 so minus 1 and we have to solve this so y0 y0 is 1 so and minus minus gets plus 3 times 1 and minus equals to 4 upon s square plus 1 upon s minus 3 so from here we will have uh, s square minus 3s minus 2 times Laplace transformation of y equals to 4 upon s square plus 1 upon s minus 3 plus s and minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 and here it gets minus 2. Now we have to take LCM. Now let's take LCM of this portion so we have s square minus 3s minus 2 times laplace transformation of y equals to laplace trans uh, in lcm of this portion is going to be s square times s minus 3 times 4 times s minus 3 plus s square plus s times s square times s minus 3 minus 2 times s square times s minus 3 so from here we will have here s square minus 3s minus 2 times laplace transmission of y equals to on solving this we will get s to the power 4 minus 7 s q plus 13 s square plus 4 s minus 12 upon s square times s minus 3 and we can also factorize this factorize this let me show you on the rough rough sheet we have here s square minus 3s minus 2 so we can write it as s square minus s minus 2s minus 2 okay so we can take so we can take s common so we have s minus 1 minus 2 common s here this 2 is in plus because in question we have plus 2y so plus 2y and uh, here plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and we have here plus 2 plus 2 so uh, we will have here 2 minus minus s minus 2s so minus 2 is common so we have here uh, s minus 1 so we will have here s minus 1 times s minus 2 on factorizing so we can write it as Laplace transformation of y equals to s to the power 4 minus 7 s q plus 13 s square plus 4 s minus 2 will upon s square s minus 3 and uh, we had here s minus 1 times s minus 2 now uh, let's proceed further we have to do the uh, partial fraction of this expression so how we can do this i have used the separate sheet to do the partial fraction so you can note it down and proceed accordingly and you can also watch my lectures on how to do the partial fraction so do watch that link in the this is in the description as well as in the i section uh, and here is the partial fraction of this expression so on doing the partial fraction we have got each and every value so we will split it as we can write it as let me write one more line here that is this is equal to a upon s 
plus b upon s square plus c upon s minus 1 plus d upon s minus 2 plus e upon s minus 3 so and we have also calculated the value of each and every term so we can write it as laplace transformation of y equals to and the value of a is 3 so 3 by s and b value is 2 so plus 2 by s square and the value of c is minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 times 1 upon s minus 1 and the value of d is minus 2 so minus 2 upon s minus 2 and the value of e is 1 by 2 so uh, 1 by 2 so plus 1 upon 2 times 1 upon s minus 3 now we can take inverse laplace transformation on both sides so y equals to 3 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s plus 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square minus 1 upon 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s minus 1 minus 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s minus 2 plus 1 upon 2 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s minus 3 so this is what we get now we will simply apply the formula which i have also provided in my previous lectures uh, so we know the inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s inverse laplace of 1 upon s square 1 uh, inverse laplace of 1, um, 1 upon s minus 1 1 upon s minus 2 1 upon s minus 3 so i'm directly going to write down the uh, answer of this question so this is what we get on applying the formula for inverse laplace transformation so i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture see you in the next video till then stay safe and if you are new to this channel, do subscribe the channel.